a lot of defensive communication. Um, working on our switches, working on uh, switching up, uh, and, and defensive rebounding. Uh, how do you feel like you guys have been playing the play last couple of weeks? Uh, we we had a drop for sure uh, from the beginning of the year to to the, to the last few weeks. Um, so I mean that's why we're here. Uh, we haven't had a lot of time to practice with our schedule, but since uh, we got a few days, uh, we're going we're gonna to work on it. How much does that help with some of the late game stuff? It seems like late game defense has been kind of an issue. The last uh, definitely, it definitely helps a lot. And whenever you got time to get in, get in the gym and, and talk about the things that uh, you can get better at, um, it always going to help, especially when you can run through it, especially with a lot of young guys that we have. What causes the, the communication to deteriorate? Uh, lack of it. Uh, not you talking. Stop. People just stop all of a sudden? Because the first 12 games, games, you guys looked like a top defense and all of a sudden went away. Yeah. People were saying it's communication, so what goes into that? Um, yeah, like you said, um, stop talking. I mean, when you get tired and things happen and, you know, you lose focus, I mean, it, sometimes it happens. It happens uh, to the best of teams, but the best teams, they, they get it together uh, throughout the season, and then that's when they that's when you see teams going on runs and stuff like that. So. Is it just kind of a lull, like, you know, just in the middle of the season you guys get complacent, like you did it for a certain amount of time, and so you think, oh, we've, just, we've got this, we don't think we can kind of let up on Is that kind of what it is over the course of the season? I mean, I would say so. I would say so. It's something that, that we definitely got to work on, especially as a, a younger team. We, we do have older players, but um, we do have a lot of young guys as well. So um, just picking up that and, and being consistent with it. Everyone has injuries, but is that part of the problem too? There's been so much in and out of line, lines changing. Uh, definitely injuries as well as as well as this. Um, we we definitely got to focus on the defensive end. Uh, we've been letting teams put up way too many points, um, but uh, we'll be better. I thought it was interesting that, that both Coach and Eric said that they felt once you guys started making shots, the defense dropped. What, what's, do you agree with that? And if so, what's the psychology behind it? You think? Uh, yeah. I mean, I do agree with it. I think um, kind of like I said, it's. Yeah, your focus changes. You, you you shift your focus from playing defense to you know now I'm making shots, so I need to focus on this. I think that's uh, probably a part of the problem that that we're having right now. Um, but it's something that that we can work on now since we have practice time. What are your impressions of Nurk, the three-point master? Uh, amazing! It's amazing. Now we're hitting them shots. Uh, it opens up the whole court for us. So um, I love it. I'm gonna continue to pass him the ball uh, whenever he's out there. You watch him practice. Is he, is he training ten in a row sometimes? Like what, what goes on behind? I mean, he can shoot. He can shoot. Um, I mean, a, a lot of guys can really shoot in uh, in practice, and sometimes it doesn't translate to the games. But now, nah, Nurk is shooting both, and uh, yeah, I mean, you see it here. When do you think it's going to reach the point where defenses are going to start yelling "shooter" when he has the ball? I mean, if the shooter doesn't get that up the I mean, they they probably should, but uh, now, but we'll see. We'll see. Did you find any new animes that you? Uh, yeah, um, now nah, it's putting me on Chainsaw Man. Um, I'm looking for some more right now, so any suggestions, let me know. What did you think of the ceremony for Dame last night? Uh, it was amazing. It's dope to see, um, you know, everybody come come there and be able to honor him. I mean, obviously, he's, a, he's had an amazing career so far, um, Hall of Fame, so to be able to see that is, uh, I mean, it's, it's great for me. You're on your fourth team, right? It's my 15th. 15th, mm -hmm. right. So is it kind of interesting for you to watch someone who's been in one year for the Uh Yeah, yeah, it's definitely crazy. Um, especially with how the NBA is now, every, everybody's moving from team to team. Um, it's almost the norm now. So to see somebody stick with one team is is, is amazing. Speaking of which, too, you're coming up. Have you thought about kind of what's next for you at all? Uh, no, nah, I'm just focusing on, on the season at, at hand. Um, trying to win as many games as we can, and we'll talk about it when it comes.